down as promised without warning about Wi-Fi, which is especially important this time of year. While so many families are traveling, vacation, maybe shopping, high-tech thieves are looking to gain access to your private information in some very public places. NBC's Jolyn Kent explains. At the mall, on the beach, and at the airport, free Wi-Fi networks and charging ports are everywhere. But these public places are popular targets for hackers. RSA's Kayvon Alakani showed us how hackers do it. He set up an unauthorized, insecure Wi-Fi network at the airport and called it Airport Wi-Fi. Within minutes, 15 travelers around us logged on, not realizing it was an unofficial, insecure connection. We have a malicious uh, hotspot here. You're punching in what you think is going to be a safe username and password. It seems all very innocent. Now it says I've been hacked. And just like that, your data is gone. And those helpful charging stations are also prime targets. It's called juice jacking. When you plug your phone into a USB port, a prompt comes up asking if you trust the connection. So many just say yes, but beware. Unbeknownst to you, this USB port is actually connected to a system where a cyber criminal is looking at your device. I realized somebody was trying to enter my computer. Jerome Phillips was hacked at the St. Louis airport. His first worry, his financial data. You don't know what the bank's response is going to be, and your mind races. So how can you protect yourself? Experts say don't charge in a USB port. Use a plug. Be wary of pop-up prompts. Be skeptical of generic network names. And use a virtual private network. Less is more. Uh, slow down. <laughs> be more cautious. And dare to be disconnected. Putting your phone down to keep your defenses up. Jolene Kent, NBC News, Los Angeles.